Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Thunder family deck, also known as Hunter. Um, the basic idea behind this deck is just swarming and bringing out XYZs very quickly. It's a pretty simple deck. It's very similar to Constellar's in my opinion. It just doesn't focus you know, so heavily on specific XYZs. So first off, uh, Mahunder and uh, Pahunder, very simple. They just both do the same thing. They allow you to do another normal summon, but they can't use themselves. So the idea behind this deck is to fill it with a lot of different thunder monsters, but also using them to bring out what you need. And then Thunder Seahorse. So the thing about this card is that it uh, is used just to get other cards in the deck, which is very useful. Obviously, the problem with it is it runs in the way of special summoning, but it's very important to be able to get the cards that you need. So I still find that this is very useful. Vylon Prism works really, really well in this deck. Um, at 1500 attack, just fits under some of the other requirements in this deck. And obviously it's a Thunder, it's a Tuner, it's a 4-star, so perfect for this deck. And a great card overall. I like its effect as well. Card Card D, giving you some draw power in this deck that doesn't um, kind of get in the way of your other stuff. You have a lot of traps backing it up, so very, very nice. Uh, Sis Hunter. Some arguments can be made about not having this in your deck. I personally really like running it to be able to do stuff from your graveyard and kind of give you some even more recycling on top of what you're already doing. And another option for a four star special summoning or a normal additional normal summoning as it's called. And then we have Trigodia, very, very useful when, you know, when you lose your XYZs or you need something to defend you for a little while and you're running so many four stars that you can use its effect pretty easily. Thunder King Rayo actually has really good synergy in this deck. You can't use it for some of the stuff, but you can use it for a few things. And obviously it uh, counters a lot of today's meta, so it's a really nice card to use. In a light based deck, obviously you want to be running Honest. That's a given. So for the spells, uh, running a lot of MST. Obviously when you're running these big powerful XYZs, that's one of the things that's going to be countering you a lot is big traps and uh, spells and stuff. So MST very useful. Recycling batteries to recycle pretty much like almost everything like you can't um, bring back Thunder Seahorse But you can bring back what you need to keep the special summoning uh, going which is really nice Forbidden Lance to protect your monsters and obviously a useful card overall and Dark Hole and Book of Moon um, For the traps mostly stable traps running a lot of traps in this deck um, Because you're running you know a little bit low monster count and you don't need a lot of spells so using a lot of traps to really shut down your opponent and to help kind of help you bring on the offense. Running two traps done, um, again, that's one of the things that'll counter you a lot is some of the more powerful traps and stuff. So having this out leads you to wiping their field very, very easily. So for the extra deck, um, obviously an extra deck in this deck is very, very important. So a lot of decisions I made here for myself, but like most extra decks, it's player choice and you'll want to put in whatever works for you. I'm running two Starlies, Paladynamo. With all these light monsters, you'll be able to get this guy out very often, and he has a very good effect, so very useful. Also running two Constellar Omega to be able to kind of counter your opponent's spells and traps. It's up to you whether you want to run two or one. I'm currently running two. I really like this card, but there's so many different choices you can make, so that's currently what I'm doing. Um, a bunch of other like staples, Black Ship, Diamond Dire Wolf, Maze Stroke, um, Gaga Cowboy. Some of the few that I think are very, very useful, but it's up to you. There's a bunch of other ones that you could find yourselves um, putting in this deck. I really wish the extra deck size was a little bit larger for this deck, but you kind of have to make do and pick the ones that you really like. Along with that, um, Violon Desigmia, very, very good to have a card like this because it's not that hard to get three level fours out, so having this can be very useful. Obviously a very powerful effect, so there's some other... Um, Four stars I'll get into a little bit later, too. Along with the Gunstellars, you can run Peter Lemmy, which can be very useful. And along with Peter Lemmy, you can run Gaia Dragon, which is also very useful. Again, personal preference, I think these cards are very helpful. So for the few Synchros, obviously the eight stars with the Vylons. You know, the staple ones like Scrap, Crimson Blade, or Stardust. And I'm also running Stardust Spark Dragon, which can be very useful. So for the side deck, uh, side decks in my videos are just recommended cards that also can work with the deck when you're making it yourself. They're not, uh, it's not a side deck for matches. But there's a lot of recommended cards I can put in here, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about them. The, th the Hunter archetype in general works really well with Watts. So you can do some direct damage and then set up um, XYZs. And there's a lot of other builds you can do to do similar things like that. So you can think about that when you want to, you know, mix it up. Watts can be very helpful. 
Also, it's nice to use like an effect like Watch Giraffe and then um, Special Summon so you don't get like Solemn Warning and stuff like that. Summoner Monk can be really useful. The only problem is I'm not running that many spells and the spells I am running are very important. So it can kind of go in the way of what you need. If you're running a lot of cards like Summoner Monk and Trigodi and stuff, you can also run um, the Chaos cards. So that's another you know alternative. Battery Man uh, AAA, very, very useful, allowing you to have more swarming and uh, just pretty useful in general. Four star, again. Swift Scarecrow, nice to kind of protect yourself and, um, you know, kind of stalling for a little, little bit while you set up what you need to do. Effect Veiler, also really good in this deck. Currently not what I'm running, I think I have enough to cover certain effects. But if you bring out Effect Veiler, obviously you can bring out Catastore, so that gives you some other options. If you're not focusing so heavily on XYZ, you know, if more XYZs were Thunder, I can. this will be different, but Solidarity, obviously very useful in a full Thunder-based deck. And then we have uh, some of the other uh, four-star um, monsters that you can bring out that are, you know, the triple ones. Evil Swarm Ouroboros can be really interesting with some of his effects. Thunder Spark Dragon also has some interesting stuff it can do, but I'm not really sure how useful it is. It can be decent combined with spirit converter to kind of add xyz's to it so that's one thing you could do messenger of peace can be nice for you know kind of delaying until you need to do what you need to do pot of duality gets in the way of special summoning but it can work out with thunder seahorse for using it at the same time and uh, double summon obviously for a deck like this makes a lot of sense monster slots is also a really interesting one um where you can kind of uh, mix and match with your uh, monsters. If you're running like all four stars, then this could be a really interesting card. And uh, Judgment of Thunder, just an interesting card to kind of destroy uh, what you want. So that, that could be pretty interesting. There are some other things you could do. Uh, you could run Call of the Haunted. You can run a lot of different XYZs that I haven't mentioned. A lot of other support cards, a lot of different Thunder stuff. You can support the Watts more with some of the Watts support too. So there's a bunch of things you could do. But personally, I find that this build's running really well for me. But if you have your own Thunder deck, your own Thunder family deck, you can post below. Let me know in the comments what you use. Make suggestions for me and that kind of thing. If you like this video, you can subscribe or hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. You can also check the playlists that are in the description. Um, one of them has a list of all the decks I've made so far. And another one has a list of all the decks I've made for this ban list. So it's neatly organized. Also, you can uh, check all my contact info in the description. If you want to talk to me, tweet me, duel me, all that kinds of stuff. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.